Welcome to Scratch Junior Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch Junior. On Scratch Junior, you can create your own stories, riddles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything and the programs that you write. You will need the Scratch Junior app on your iPad, Android tablet, or computer. Scratch Junior is a free download and you'll have to get it so that you can do coding with us. Today, you're going to create something like this. She's going to dribble the basketball and then make a score. Click on the plus icon to start a new project. Hold down on the default character until the X pops up and then delete it. Click on the landscape up here to bring up the background gallery and we want the basketball court and we need a character to dribble the basketball so we'll hit the plus over here to get a new character and out of all the people here I thought she looked like she was dribbling a basketball so I picked her We're also going to need a basketball, so I'll go ahead and get that character. So when I select my teen, this is the coding area. All the instructions for her will be here. When I select the basketball, this is the coding area for the basketball, and all the instructions for the basketball will be here. For the teen, she's going to go almost to the goal and then stop. So she has to move to the right. I'll just say 11 times. So I'll put 11 right there and it'll tell it to go right 11 times. Reset her here. And that works out good. So I'm going to tell it to go right 11 times when I hit the green flag. And that works good. And then she'll just stop. There's another way to do this exact same thing to make her go right 11 times. And that's using this loop, this repeat block. If I tell her to go right one time and I repeat that 11 times, then it does the same thing. It doesn't matter. We can do it this way or this way. Since we're learning something new today, we'll just have it do our new way with our loop. So put her back at the beginning and now we have to write the code for the basketball. We want to make it start going right whenever there's a green flag. We'll go right one time and repeat that 11 times. Let's see how that looks. The ball needs to bounce up and down like it's being dribbled. What if I put up and down inside our loop? So it goes to the right, and then it goes up and down. Then it goes to the right, and then it goes up and down. We need, we need it to go up and down the same time that it's going to the right. So let's add some more code. So when the green flag is hit, 
at the same time as it's going to the right, it'll start going up and down. And we're going to have to repeat that. Let's just leave it at four and see what happens. So let's maybe repeat the bounces three times and see what happens. So three was about right. Now let's make the basketball. Let's let her shoot a goal. So after she gets to here, it needs to go up and then over and then back down. So up. And then over and then back down. Let's see if those numbers are about right. It's a little bit too far right. Let's just make that a one. And whenever it goes back down, let's make it go back down a lot more than that. When it leaves her hand, it just seems to be going too slow. That's a good speed for her to be dribbling it. But I want it to go faster once she shoots the ball. So our speed block is right here. We want the speed to stay medium in the beginning. But then right before she shoots it, it's going to speed up. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty close. And put an ending block. Let's name this project. Up here at the top. It's going to automatically say project and whatever the next number is. Let's call it basketball. And where all our projects are, you'll see it has a name. Somehow I ended up with this empty project. So project 8. If I hold down on it, I can click the X to delete it. That's the end of this lesson. Now it's your turn. Create a new project and add the basketball court right here at the backgrounds and add a couple of characters, one of the people and a ball and make the ball bounce up and down across the court and have the character dribble in the ball. The main thing that you need to learn from this lesson is using this repeat block, this loop. Instead of just having the character move 11 times to the right, make them loop 11 times to go to the right. And with this dribble, if I try to put 11 right there, it just makes it go up and down 11. It doesn't make it repeat 11 times. So you have to have that repeat block. So use this loop, this repeat block. If you can use the repeat block to make the ball dribble, then congratulations, you've mastered this lesson. This free kids coding lesson was provided by STEM in Games. Subscribe, watch more lessons, and keep practicing, and soon you will be creating new worlds and games and making your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time.